There we have Monet standing before his easel. He's got his brush extended. He's putting a touch of colour on the canvas. We don't see the picture he's painting. Renoir leaves that to our imagination, but we can see that it must be the, the great mass of dahlias alongside. And it's as though Monet's taking his colours from those dahlias and transferring them with the brush to the canvas. The garden is obviously an outdoor studio. You can use it as an extension of your house in order to get at first hand the effects of light and atmosphere that become increasingly important with the rise of planerisme, painting out of doors. And those elements of modern life can be found, can be situated in a garden. And that, in a way, is, is a means of merging the modern life theme with the outdoor painting theme. And the garden is a useful meeting point for the two. This painting by Tissot was one of a group that he did in his home in St John's Wood in London. A wonderful garden he developed there, which was modelled partly on the Parc Monceau in Paris. I think there is a, a tremendous theme running through Tissot's work, where we have the woman as someone who is to be admired almost as an object, but also a mystery. And the garden is traditionally associated with the woman. The woman is described as the good genius of gardens in some of the 19th century horticultural journals. But equally, she's the one who in the, the ancient tradition of the biblical narrative, for example, the virgin and her hortus conclusus, that underpins a lot of the imagery of the woman in the garden still in the 19th century. And he's maybe just blurring those boundaries so that we don't quite know if the woman is in the traditional mode of a virgin in a garden or in a rather more risque mode because conservatories were certainly places where seduction and all sorts of license was, was happening. It was a space, the garden itself in turn, where you might dispense with etiquette that would have ruled in the drawing room or the parlor salon. So there are, I think, little hints maybe that Tiso is manipulating the tradition and not just giving us a standard version of a woman in a garden. Here we've got chrysanthemums, which were plants introduced in 1789 to Europe. Uh, they came from the Orient, from China, Japan, and they were an immediate um, sensation, really, and developed into a whole variety of, of forms and shapes. And, and there was a great art in picking them, cutting them, so that you would develop the best for the next year. You could also take various other forms of, of growth and, and make them come on. <laughs> 